All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go on this lesson. Um, GOP uh, pol politician says pregnancy from rape or incest is like beauty from act asses. Okay. Um, this is an article uh, that came out, um, as you can see, uh, March 23rd, okay? And um, I believe today is March the 23rd, okay, 2017, okay? Um, the writer looks like a so-called black woman, okay? Um, Gabby Bass, or Bess. Okay, um, it says uh, Republican politicians frequently have to say dumb or vile things to justify abortion bans that don't allow exceptions under any circumstances, including pregnancies resulting from rape or incest, or if the woman's life is in danger. The latest example comes from an Oklahoma state Representative George Fault, who introduced a bill that will ban abortions due to fetal genetic ab abnormalities or Down syndromes. The bill would make it illegal for doctors to perform abortions under that criteria. Those who refuse to comply could have their licenses suspended or revoked or face fines of up to a hundred thousand dollars depending I mean defending the fact that the ban would have no exceptions Fort suggested that rape and incest could be part of God's will according to the Huffington Post and when the Democratic members of the state house challenged them asking him directly if rape was the will of God he seemed to imply that since rape was in the Bible okay and, and this is the person right here, uh, George Falk, the state representative for Oklahoma, okay? And he said that uh, rape is in the Bible, which it is in the, in the Bible, okay? Um, a lot of people like to get on Great Millstone uh, because we, you know, teach the what the scriptures say, you know? That's not to say that we go out here and, and, and rape anybody. Okay, with where where is the, the charges at? You know, we just teaching that rape was in the Bible, and clearly you have this guy could be an Edomite. Okay, he's saying that rape is in the Bible. Okay, he said it says he seemed to imply that since rape was in the Bible, it's just a natural part of life that women have to deal with. Okay, and back then that was something that women had to deal with. Okay. Um, if you read, read the Bible, there's actually a couple circumstances where that happened and the Lord uses all circumstances. And this is what, what we hear Great Millstone say. Okay, this guy, he could have been watching the videos or something. I don't know where he got that from, okay, to, to, to know that rape is inside the scriptures. But the Lord did use all circumstances. It says, I mean, you can go down that path, but it's a reality Unfortunately, regarding incest, he said same answer, and and he's going off as far as the the um the incest, okay? Because he's trying to say that incest is um is legitimate, I guess. It says when Fort added that the line of questioning from the Democrats doesn't deal with this bill, they made clear to him that it does. You won't make any exceptions for rape. You won't make any exceptions for incest in this. And you are pro-offering or pro-offering pro uh, divine intervention is the reason why you won't do that. Representative uh, Corey Williams said, I think it is very important. This body wants to know, myself personally, whether you believe rape and incest are actually the will of God. Okay? Um... I'm going to go on one more verse. It says, um, 
Ford responded by doubling down on his claims that rape and incest are part of God's grand design and victims of rape and incest can use the experience. It's a great question to ask and obviously if rape and incest happens in someone's life, it may not be the best thing that ever happened, he said. But so you're saying that God is not sovereign with every activity that happens in someone's life and can't use anything and everything in someone's life. And I disagree with that. Okay. Um, that's pretty much, you know, all I'm, uh, I'm going to post the, um, the article in my, uh, my, uh, you know, the description box, but I wanted to go in on, um, the, the, the part about rape being in the scriptures. Um, Deuteronomy 22 and, um, 22. If a man be found lying with a woman married to an husband, then they shall both of them die. Both the man that lay with the woman and the woman, so shall thou put evil away from Israel. So this is saying if a man be found lying with a woman that was married, okay, because adultery is having sex with another man's woman. Okay, if that woman is married, that woman is taken, and, and they both having sex, okay, it says both of them shall be put away. Okay, it says, if a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto an husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her, then he shall bring them both out unto the gate of that city, and you, you shall stone them with stones that they die the damsel because she did not cry i mean it says because she cried not being in the city and the man because he have humbled his neighbor's wife so thou shalt put away evil from your from among you okay now i'm going to this word virgin okay which is bathwala in the uh hebrew and I believe this one is a virgin or a woman that never um, had sex before. Okay. Um, it says, but if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field and the man force her and lie with her, then the man only that lie with her shall die. So here goes the case where a damsel that was betrothed Okay, and she didn't cry. They both got stoned to death. But if the damsel was betrothed and, and the man forced her and lied with her, then the man only shall die. Okay. Now, that's um, two cases or three cases, I should say. Okay, a, a man and a woman that's married. Uh, both both of them dying. Okay, a man and a a a, a virgin that was betrothed, um, lying down and having sex, uh, both of them die. A man and a a, ver a, a damsel that was uh, betrothed, okay, and the damsel didn't cry, the damsel didn't uh, die, only the man, okay. Now, on to the next verse. But unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing, there is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. For as when a man rises against his neighbor and slays him, even so is this matter. For he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. Okay? Now, uh, listen to this. If a man, Deuteronomy 28 and tw I mean 22 and 28, if a man find a damsel that is a virgin which is not betrothed and lay hold on her and lie with her and they be found, then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel, father, the damsel's father, 50 shekels of silver. And she shall be his wife because he hath humbled her. He, had, he may not put her away all his days. Okay? So this situation, this is for different situations in this situation is saying that if a man finds a woman 
that is a virgin and is not betrothed, because the betrothed, being betrothed is, is important, okay, and it says, and lay hold on her, okay, which in the Hebrew, the word is tafaz, okay, which is, it, it says to catch, handle, lay hold, take hold, seize, will, okay, so if the man uh, lays hold on this woman, okay, that's the rape, and then it says, and lie with her, you know, have sex, and they be found, then the man is go supposed to pay the father 50 seconds of silver, and that woman shall be his wife. Now, in America, they're not paying uh, 50 seconds of anything, okay? Niggas is just raping women and just going on about their business, you know, on some, some wicked stuff, okay? And then it also says that the woman shall be his wife, you know, and, and the women, you know, they're not being wives in their society. So for them to try to pass this, uh, this bill, okay, and him to, 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 uh, try to use the scriptures to back it up, you know, uh, is, is pointless, you know, because this ain't, this ain't a land where you, uh, keep the law, statutes, and commandments in. This land is polluted, Okay. Um, there's so much uh, chaos out here, man. So much wickedness. It's it's out of order, in in this land called America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. But it says that this man that lays hold and have sex with this woman that is the, that is a virgin, and not betrothed. Okay, he's supposed to give the father fifty seconds of silver, and uh, take her to be his wife. Okay, it says because he have humbled her. He may not put her away all, all his days. So that man can't put that woman away. Okay, that's what the man has to do. Okay, that's the circumstances for um, rape. Okay, a man that, that rapes a woman, you know, is supposed to get uh, killed. Okay, but then, you know, in America, they, they, they want to have uh, abortions and stuff like that, man. Well, what do the Bible say? Okay. Um, Leviticus 18 and 5. You shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their, naked, their nakedness. I am the Lord. The nakedness of your father, so you can't uh, have sex, okay, with your father, okay, which it says nakedness, nudity, shame, Okay, and decency and proper behavior. Okay. Um, the nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother shalt thou not uncover. And ain't nothing religious about this, man. This is just the law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord gave us, man, on how we supposed to, to be living in as, as a nation. Okay, not America. Okay, I'm talking about the nation of Israel. Okay, it says, she is your mother, thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Okay, so that throws that uh, incest uh, crap out the way. Okay, or part of it. It says, the nakedness of thy father's wife shalt thou not uncover. It is thy father's nakedness. Okay, so you can't go into your, 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 uh, uh, your father's uh, wife, if that's not your mother, okay, you can't go into her, the nakedness of your sister, you can't have sex with your sister, the daughter of your father, or daughter of your mother, okay, so it don't matter if that's your father's daughter, or your mother's daughter, whether she be born at home, or born abroad, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover, the nakedness of thy son's daughter, Okay, so you have a child and your son have a uh, have a child and that's a daughter. You can't have sex with that daughter. Okay, or or of thy daughter's daughter. So you have a daughter and and, and you, your daughter have a daughter. You know a granddaughter. Okay, it says even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover, for theirs is thine own nakedness. Okay, 
the nakedness of thy father's wife daughter begotten of thy father she is thy sister thou shalt not uncover her nakedness okay so your father has a woman that isn't your uh your mother and they have a daughter together you not supposed to have sex with that that uh woman okay it says thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's sister so your aunt it says she is thy father's near kinsman thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister your 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 mother's uh sister your aunt okay for she is thy mother's near kinsman thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's brother uh your uncle thou shalt not approach to his wife she is thine aunt for thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy daughter-in-law she is thy son's wife thou shalt not uncover her nakedness thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy brother's wife it is thy brother's nakedness thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter okay so you have a woman that you 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 you, you having sex with that you're dealing with you're not supposed to be having sex with her and her daughter okay neither shalt thou take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to uncover her nakedness for they are her near kinsmen it is wickedness and there's a lot of wickedness out here in this society man people don't even think about uh what what the uh scriptures say man okay they don't even come to their mind about doing the right thing it says plan device wickedness evil plan mischievous purpose okay it says um not chaste um incest right <laughs> it says incest is wickedness man <laughs> that's under the de the definition of wicked okay um which i believe is zama okay it says uh licentiousness okay want to look up that word But then it also says adultery, idolatry, har harlotry. Okay. It says licentious. It says promiscuous and unprincipled in sexual matters. So everything that was being uh, uh, mentioned right here was uh, un unprincipled. Uh, matters okay wickedness man it says thou neither shalt thou uh leviticus 18 and 18 neither shalt thou take a wife to her sister to vex her to uncover her nakedness beside the other in her lifetime also thou shalt not approach unto a woman to uncover her nakedness as long as she is put apart for her uncleanness Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile her. You know, so this is all um, unprincipled uh, sexual acts, okay? And, um, you know, this guy is basically saying that uh, this is in the scriptures. You know, guys can do this and, you know, it's, it, you shouldn't be able to have an abortion and stuff like that. Which, you know, you're not supposed to, 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 to be using, a, I mean, having abortions and stuff, man. Okay? But this guy is trying to say that rape and incest, well, incest is, is a part of the scriptures and it's not. Okay? So with that, man, hopefully this was a, a edifying lesson. Um, I want to say Solomon until next time.